this is part two of Harry Rain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed part one of the series. We are going to continue the series on my YouTube channel. And yeah, with Jason's death, what is going to happen to Ethan? We are going to find out right now. Is this guy Lauren Winter? Lauren Winter, ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Now, look at here. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Okay. Sir, we are a detective. All right, yeah, we're not gonna interrupt them. They're they're having their own little uh, little uh, fun time in there. Of course. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only declined by appointment. Wait. Clients by appointment? It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. <laughs> you don't kiss? Okay. Got exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Well, damn, she's being assertive. Enjoy that ten bucks. Ten bucks gets to do anything, bro. She doesn't do weird shit too, so it's not even worth it, bro. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? A freebie. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Johnny? Leave me alone. Nah, bro. Her wife? His wife is a, uh, a slut? I know nah, I bro. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Bro, she really <laughs> fucked herself up like this, bro. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. I, I would say that Ethan's managing way better than her, bro. She turned into a sludgery, bro. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? That's crazy. For real. Enjoy that 10 bucks, you, you slut. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out That's of That's why it is wild, bro. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him.
You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. All right, question time. Come on, what else are we gonna ask? Any leads? Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said he must have run away and he'd probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Wow, that's cold. This is this is reminds me of Pennywise. Uh when did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about ten o'clock. Don't tell me ten minutes are up already. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Damn. It's yeah. This this reminds me of chapter it. I've seen both of them. Like the newest ones. And uh they weren't as scary as just they're very uh disturbing. Well if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. No point in pushing her. She's not gonna tell me anymore. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, you do. You didn't get no top. All right, where's the exit? All right, there. Oh, you see the first one? I'm not trying to watch the second one again. What the hell, bro? Dude, are you having like an asthma attack, bro? He is having an asthma attack. Is it a cigarette? Hell no, bro. Come here, bro. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Yeah, it's me again, bro. Come on. Okay, bro. I'm I'm getting my ass back, bro. Damn. That was 
I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? No, not really. Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. I got my ass beat too, bro. Maybe I could have killed him. But then that would have made me look bad too. I'm sure he'll be back though. Press and hold down indicate buttons. I, I was trying, bro. What am I shaking for? Reporters already. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Thank you for the warm welcome. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Hey, wait, wait, no, 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 no. All right, we're putting that back on. Crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'd be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Yeah, no worries, bro. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Okay, Dad. there you are. Oh, what's this? Comment sample of no interest comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, can we tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? 
So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? Yeah, I think, bro. Way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Sounds good. Harry County, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. Are you there? No, that really, that really, bro. I don't see nothing. This way here. Unrelated to the investigation. Wow, that's some high tech equipment, bro. Alright, look over here, so should we look over here then? Okay, I can't go over there. Let's go over here, actually. Very common. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Hmm. Right here, too. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. Exhaustion? What? I thought you said he drowned. This way here. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body.
do we have to follow this? Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same as on the tracks. His face is covered with mud. What? So he drowned by mud, bro? No way, bro. His face is covered with mud. Like the other victims. That's so brutal, bro. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. That's cold, bro. Alright, pretty sure we... we... What about the orchid? Can we verify the orchid? I guess not. Okay. Wait, so that's actually really cold, bro. This guy, the kid died by drowning of mud. Wow. That's one hell of a way to go out, bro. Okay, should we follow the. I already verified this. Very common. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. Probably the end of the trail. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm just trying to find where he was being dragged at. Oh, there we go. That has to be it. Harry Connor. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. That's cold. Oh shit, I can't have him dying, bruh. Did I mess up my glove? There's a good chance that they're the killers. Side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. And I've seen all there is to see. Ooh. Nah, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Are you sure you've seen all of it?
I like a new bonus. Crime scene find all clues related to origami killer. Bat inspect butterfly. Oh, insect butterfly. Uh. Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. A bat. A wolf's head. A crab. Death. Death. Where am I? I'm having some brain trauma right now. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. Actually, I am responsible, but you know. Paul Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Damn. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I would have mentioned origami, but it didn't say it. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Is he the origami person? Not sure, bro. Possibly. Or maybe it's someone else. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Oh, see. You gotta do your homework, bro. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? What am I going to do to cheer him up? 
I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. There we go. Come on, Dad, make me fly. <laughs> oh, it's not it's actually laughing. Maybe he'd like to have a turn on the swing. Oh, where's it? Where is the swings? You want to go play on the swing? Push you. Okay. No, I just ran the moonlight. You're not pushing dead. My bad, bro, my bad. I don't want to play that game anymore. This guy pissed at me, bro. Maybe you're right on the merry-go-round. He didn't think much of the swings, so now what? Merry-go-round. Let's go. Can I do this? Come on. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, strawberry, nice. Just left them. I mean, I'm sure he's, he's fine. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Bro. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Shit, bro. I'll eat it, bro. Looks like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, 
I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. I'm back. Welcome back, bro. I uh, struggled quite a bit with the investigation because I didn't know where else to look, where else to go after the investigation was done. Obviously, I didn't know I had to go to the car. You want to merry-go-round? Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar. Why do you put the dollar like that? Am I having a blackout now? Really? Dude, what the heck? Yo! What? Dude. What the heck, bro? This is still the blackout. What just happened? A blackout, bro. I think this is a blackout. Just trying to win the worst side for a word for oh for real yeah. Is this actually a... Nah, bro. This can't be real, bro. This has to be the blackout. No way, bro. This can't be real, bro. This guy has have, needs to be in the blackout mode, bro. How did he lose Sean? If this is actually real. He was right there, bro. What? I, I'm so confused right now, man. I've unlocked a new bonus. Okay. I'm just... Okay, this is just a loading screen. It was just mind boggled. Wait, no way, bro. No way, don't tell me that 
he actually got lost, bro. Alright, well, we're going to leave the mystery for part 3 coming up soon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay. If you guys want to see more of this gameplay, just let me know in the comments down below. And you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.